If you guys look at this page over here, you'll notice that they're posting the same type of videos over and over and over again. All it is, it's just stick figure animation videos. And I mean, these guys are doing insane numbers, like 1.6 million views, 6.1 million views, 11.1 million views. They're doing very good. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other pages pretty much doing the exact same thing. Probably all they're changing is the style of stick figures, like they probably won't look identical to this. And what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to make stick figure animation video. Now they won't look like this guy's channel. They will look a lot more basic because the method that I'm gonna teach you right now is not only completely free, but extremely easy to do. Like you can literally watch this video and go and make your own stick figure animations right after this video. Now, why do these videos do very well? It's not because of the stick figure animations. It's because of the script that they're using in the video. If the script is funny or engaging, the video is gonna end up doing well. So step one to creating these stick figure animation videos is gonna be to create a good script. Now, how do you create a good script? I'm gonna give you four different methods that you can use to create a good script. And the first method is gonna be pretty much what every other YouTuber is gonna tell you to do when creating a script for any type of videos. And that's gonna be to use ChatGPT for your scripts. Now I'm putting this one first because I just wanna get it out the way because I think ChatGPT is probably the worst thing that you can use to create a script for any type of videos, especially these type of videos. Because like I said, you want them to be funny and ChatGPT is not gonna be funny in this situation. And before you tell me it's the prompt that matters the most when making a script, of course you're right, the prompt matters the most. But no amount of prompts you can give ChatGPT will make it funny. Like look here for example, I told ChatGPT create a funny conversation between two people. I think that prompt alone will give me a good idea on how funny ChatGPT is. And this is the story that it gave me. It said, hey Jamie, you ever wonder if cats think in meows? Oh absolutely, like when they're staring at us, probably thinking meow, I can't believe these humans don't know how to catch a laser dot. All this did was give me AIDS. I got nothing else from ChatGPT apart from AIDS from the script. And you know what the worst part is about this whole thing? After giving me this abysmal script, at the end, it decided to tell me, hope that gave you a good laugh. No, it did not give me a good laugh. So if you're thinking about creating a script, make sure you do not use ChatGPT to create the entire script. What I mean by that is, the second method that you can use to get a good script it's gonna be a website like Reddit or Quora. Like if you go on these websites, you'll notice that you're finding a lot of different conversations between other people that people have already posted on here. Like this thread is what are some good conversations that you can write about between two close friends. And you'll notice that there's a lot of different stories. Like this one, uh, Rahul says, I'm sorry, Tanya, I couldn't call you back yesterday. Was busy with college fest work. What's up, how are you? Now we know Rahul's cheating in this situation, but this is a good story that you can use. Now what you can do with ChatGPT is you can take this full story put it into ChatGPT and just spin it up and create a different one. That's not bad in terms of using ChatGPT in this situation. And the same thing goes for Reddit. But the thing is, some of the threads that I found on Reddit, I'm sure there are better threads, but the format's a little bit different. Like you'll notice on here, it actually has a setup where it's like one person talking then the next person talking, which is ideally what you want. The whole point of this is to be a conversation between two people. On Reddit, it's not really a conversation. It's almost like somebody's narrating the actual story. But that's fine because you can just pretty much copy this whole thing and then put it into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to create a dialogue between two people for this story. Or you can just do it yourself. Like you can just copy this whole thing, put it into a Google Doc and just and create the dialogue yourself. Now the third option is gonna be also to create in the story yourself. If you're somebody like me who assumes that they're maybe even a little bit on the spectrum, chances are you're pretty funny. So you can actually create your own script for any type of video. But the reason why a lot of people are not gonna make the script themselves is because they're either not funny or they just can't be asked to spend time writing the whole script. They just wanna get videos out as quick as possible, which is also fine. Now, the fourth method that I'm gonna tell you is, and this one actually made a video a while back talking about those like fake text messaging videos. Those videos always do well because the script is always good and they're engaging, which is pretty much the same thing related to this niche. The script should be good and it should be engaging. Like the stick figure is talking, and there's gonna be subtitles on the screen. So what you can do is, you can download the transcript of those fake text messaging videos, change it up a little bit, and use that exact same script for these style of videos. In the video that I made telling you how to make those text messaging videos, I showed you how to download a transcript of a TikTok video as well, so you can just go and watch that. Now let's say hypothetically we're using this script over here for this video. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the entire script, Ignore what the text shows on here. I'm not actually gonna be using this script. What I did is, before recording this video, it took me like five minutes, I wrote my own script. So stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm gonna show you an example that I made for these stick figure animation videos. So copy the script, 
go into a Google Doc and just paste it here. Oh, the hell. Now, once you're here, if you already put it into ChatGPT and created the dialogue yourself, that's good. Or you can just tweak the format over here and do it yourself. Now, what I also like to do is, whenever there's two people talking, I always like to just change the color of what it says, just so it makes it visibly easier for me to understand who's speaking when, especially when you're copying everything over to a software like 11 Labs, which is gonna be in the next step. So once you have your script laid out on a Google Doc, then you're gonna go over to 11 Labs or pretty much any sort of AI voiceover website that you can use. I think there's another one called DubDub or something. Any website that's free and that you're comfortable with will work in this situation. And now all you're doing is just copy and pasting. You're gonna go back to your Google Doc, copy line one, go into 11 Labs and just paste it here. Now the good thing about 11 Labs, and I'm pretty sure every other software, you can change the actual audio so you can have different people speaking. And for example, this one I can have Bill speaking or Brian, wh whichever one I want. You can listen to all the different voices, pick whichever one you like the most. For this one, I'm just gonna pick Bill, and then you click on Generate Speech. I overheard two people's epic encounter a while ago. And the speech is just gonna pop up at the bottom over here, and then all you do is you just click on Download, and you download the actual audio file. And then you go back, and then you do the second line. And you do that over and over and over again, until you've pretty much downloaded your entire script. But also make sure when you're doing the voiceovers, change the characters when there's different characters speaking. Like this one I highlighted here in red because it's a different person speaking. So instead of using Bill, I'm gonna use Brian. And then same thing, click generate speech and just download. So a woman comes into the bakery and as soon as- And once you have all of the voiceovers done, the next step is to actually create the animation. And the way we're gonna do that is through Adobe Express. I'm gonna link everything in the description as well for all the websites that I used. And once you're on Adobe Express, just click on the top left-hand side of the screen and click on quick actions and just type in animate. And it's gonna be the first one over here, the only one, animate from studio. Now this is where we're gonna play around with it just to make sure that everything looks good. You can do a lot of different stuff, like you can change the character, you can change the background, and you can change the size. We're gonna start off with the size because it's one of the most important things. Just click on Instagram and then go over to TikTok. Or if you're doing this on YouTube or Instagram Reels, whatever you want, do it on the platform that you're doing it on. Now on TikTok, it uses the aspect ratio of nine by 16. So that's the one that I'm gonna be using over here. And then in terms of the character, for this one, we're doing stick figure animations. And that's the most popular one that everybody's doing right now. Just scroll all the way to the bottom and then you'll find it somewhere here. It's called Sticky, this one. If you're not gonna use Sticky, you can use whichever one you want. You don't have to just use Sticky. And then you can change the background. You can do the background whatever you want. There's a bunch of different options. You can leave it transparent. You can just change it to like a different color or you can do like a locker room. Now the way you upload your audio file, the one you just downloaded from 11 Labs, you click on Browse and then you just find the audio file and upload it. It's gonna take like a couple seconds for it to upload. And once it's done, all you have to do is just click on download and you have the video. But you do have to repeat this step over and over again for every single audio file that you downloaded from 11 Labs. So the way you do that is you just click on back and then you click on replace audio and you click on browse again. Now the thing is, obviously, there's gonna be different characters speaking. So it's up to you in that case what you wanna do. Like if you wanna just change the character to a different guy, you can do that. If you wanna change the background to a different background, you can do that. Or what you can also do is you can upload the file for the second character, and then you can go over and edit it and pretty much change it around so it's visible that this is a different person speaking. This is optional, you don't have to do this. It's gonna be pretty obvious that there's a different character speaking because they have two different voices. But if you wanna change up the way it looks, just to make sure it's gonna be engaging at all times, you can obviously do this. Now, one thing I'll also tell you while this is downloading, the only thing I can't figure out how to do is change this guy's facial expression. For some reason, he's always smiling. Like for the video that I'm gonna show you at the end, I couldn't figure out how to make this guy seem sad. I was trying to talk about something where he should not be happy, but for some reason, this guy's still smiling. So that kind of makes it a little bit harder to like convey a message, because this sticky guy will just always be smiling for some reason. So once it's here, just click on preview. Oh, what the hell? So once you've uploaded it, click on open in editor, and here you can actually change up a lot of different stuff. Now, the thing that I would say to change when there's two different people speaking, like, like let's say, this is the second character speaking. All you have to do is just flip it horizontally. So at least it looks different. Or what you can also do is, when you're back over here, once you've downloaded the first character, you can put the first character here or something, and then put the second character on the right hand side. That's completely up to you. But do this step over and over and over again for each character. Once you have all the audio files downloaded and all the stick figure animations downloaded, then you're gonna head over to CapCut. And on CapCut, you're gonna upload every single video that you got. And what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna drag them over in order. So for example, this guy speaks first, so I'm gonna put him here, and then the second Listen. character speaks next. So I'm gonna put him here, and do that for the rest of the video. Now here, the main things that I'm gonna to recommend to do is, is at the beginning of the video, 
add some sort of animation. The ones that I always use the most are gonna be like the zoom ones, zoom one or zoom two. And also in between each character, add some sort of transition. I think a good transition is something like pull in and pull out. So for example, like when the first character goes away, do pull in. And then when he comes back, do pull out and just repeat that process across the entire video. So in the beginning, there's gonna be an animation that looks like this. And then in between each character is gonna look like this. Now you're not done here. Now the last mandatory step that you have to do is, is to add the captions. Now good thing is on CapCut, it's extremely easy to add captions. All you do is you click on text and then click on auto captions and click on generate. And you wanna make sure you edit the captions because they always look very bad in the beginning. So just highlight all of them and then go over to templates. And the type of style of captions that you wanna always use is the type of captions that only shows one word at a time. I think something like this is pretty good because it's only gonna show one word at a time. And then you can go back and you can edit the color, the size and everything. Normally I always do white, but in this, in this situation I'm not gonna do white because this guy's shirt's white. So a color like this would be just fine and just make it a little bit smaller. And you also wanna go through every single added caption and make sure it actually says what you want it to say. Because sometimes CapCut's auto-generated captions mess up completely and they don't pick up what you're actually trying to say. Or sometimes they don't even add the text, they just completely miss it. Now this is pretty much all you need. There are other optional stuff that you can do like adding effects or adding sound effects, but this would be good enough to test it out and see if the type of videos will work for you. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you the example that I made for this video. I've tried posting on TikTok, but all my videos get zero views. I've tried drop shipping and can never get a single sale. I've tried crypto and lost all my life savings on it. I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't know if I'll ever make the money I need. Listen, brother, you've got it all wrong. Bro, who are you and how'd you even get here? That doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm here and I will tell you how to get out of the hole you're in. Bro, this is literally a video on how to make stick figures talk. How are you gonna get me out of this hole? You're asking too many questions. Would you like to learn the secrets to attract anything you want? The secrets that will help you succeed in anything you do? Yeah, of course, where can I learn this? Brother, then just click on the link in the description and make sure you read and watch everything. Well, what happens if the video there doesn't help me? Brother, it's a free video. Now enough with the questions.